first day in me. Si ya me me le dice giglio con ci con me. I don't let any frustration Amen. stay in me. Ah, vi ya me me rimba basa con vi guma mo. Someone else problem. Vero un un ci basa con di mono. That is garbage. If you na vi na vi ta puberi changwa awa ichi mote. He is not garbage. Na vi ta He is he the person is not garbage. But what he said came from his sinful nature and his garbage. I don't want to eat the garbage. Let me ask you this. If a crazy man yells at you on the street, I don't know if you're a crazy man here. Have you, seen, have you seen crazy men here? Crazy people here? Have you? 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 Have you? 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 Angry for a long time? Oh, you're you run away. Yeah, you run away. You know he has problem, right? So you won't mind it for a long time. Because you know he has problem. But then we say, my family members, my church members, they are normal people and they get angry with me and I cannot get over it. But if we say, all people have sinned, All people sometimes will get angry. I have got angry too. But now I try to handle my anger as, as soon as possible, as fast as possible. Amen. So his garbage I don't have to eat. I use another illustration. I hope you remember it. If someone has some dung, you know, from the toilet, some dung, and put in a pot and pour it at you, what, how would you, what would you do? How 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 would you do? ayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
Beri yang baru baku tuka, baku tonganya, baku begini begang mobil bi, ibu nak bikin rezeki nak pasti rezeki. And many people keep thinking about why did he yell at me? Why was he angry with me? For a long, long time, even for years, or maybe for the whole lifetime, always think about what he has done to me. Awan versi yang baku tonga ni je, ibu nak baku tonga ni je. Biarin mesin kan masiran nanti ya gusir sehoh. Gorak beri je bukan macam cari je bawa rakai bukan macam dia mula kari. Ufi tinggi kan ni si cari. Ufi mesin umum. Imnya gaya tu je. Amasiran nanti aku ni orang ini nuci, sebi nuci, sebi nuci. Suka bila ni dia cipin. Let me ask you, is that wise? No, no, aku bikin misha, aku gumurah kari umum. Rupa yang zika. Ibu ni umum bawa beri mukej. The wise thing is, please remember. Don't eat garbage. Only eat the good things from God and from people. This is very important. When someone is angry, immediately I discern, I know that he's angry. Immediately I say I don't have to be angry because he's angry. No, no, when we do forget to change, we're not going to be angry. We're not going to be angry. We're not going to be angry. If I've done something wrong, I'll ask him to forgive me. If I haven't done something wrong, hello. Yes. If I haven't done anything wrong. I don't have to feel bad because of him. Let me ask you. Now this is very simple. Don't eat garbage. Eat the good thing from God and people. Can you do it? You know, by the help, by the help of God, you can do it. If you say my life is very precious, God loves me, I want to keep the peace of God, I don't want to be affected by people, it doesn't matter what he said to me, I won't die from it. And you just let go. Hallelujah. 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 Even if people mistreated me, God loves me. God cares about me. God has a wonderful plan in me. God is in me now. God is very happy with me. God is very happy with me. Ha 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 ha. So what? I won't die. That's how I handle all negative words from people. And I also have compassion on these people. This is a key to forgive. These people who hurt me, they have to face God. It will be terrible when they face God. And also they've been hurt by many people. So they have many hurts in the heart. That's why he has so much anger. He's in a terrible condition. I want to be kind to him. I want to be nice to him. So my kindness may one day change him. Now to change him is another matter. Some people is hard, are hard to change. But at least we are gentle with them. And one day our gentleness can change him. Okay, okay. now I apply the five steps to victory. I'm aware I'm affected by him. 
Number two is destructive. And then what does the Bible tell me to do? I pray to ask God to forgive me and I pray God to give me, give me strength. And then I choose to be nice to him. Thank you for reminding me. I'll pay attention to it. I'll try my best. Thank you. Please be gentle to him. Now this five step of victory also has a simplified three step to victory. First is aware. I know there is a problem. And then we already know it's destructive. You already know that the, uh, what the Bible tells us to do. So I jumped to pray. And I choose to follow God's way. So that's one, four, five. Now let's go to the other side. Let me ask you. Think about the people around you, the difficult people around you. This week when you see them again, can you handle them? Uh, let me tell you, it's not easy. The reason why it's not easy, because in our heart we have a sinful nature. We say it's unfair. I want to pay back. At least I steal him. Or turn away from him. We have this anger inside them, sinful nature inside. Then we are attacked by Satan. The wisest way is. I am loved by God. If I am attacked by someone, I am still peaceful and joyful. And I say gentle words. God is very happy with me. And he's smiling, showing his teeth and not showing his eyes. So, so, so I can say I'm following God, I'm blessed by God. Let me tell you, I always handle things like that inside me. So, so that I stay peaceful. And free, no burdens. Oh, that's <laughs> When we have this, our eyes on Jesus. He loves me. And he's in me. He has a wonderful plan in my life. And my life is very special. And I can do great things for God. I don't want any, anyone to take away the blessing of God. Do you want to do that? Do you want to follow that? Do you want to follow that? Let me tell you, it takes, it takes a period of time for you to learn it. When you go home and someone yells at you, you said too much time in the church, and then you become angry. <laughs> so immediately we start to take care of it. Okay. Wow. Now, let me ask you, do you have any questions about this? I explained very clearly. The method is, don't eat garbage. Eat the good things from God and from people. Don't eat garbage. Eat the good things from God and from people. 
Udakwiye kuryo umwanda aho kwiye kuryo byiza duhabwa n'Imana. If the good things from God means I hold on to the promises of God. Ivuga ngo kuryo byiza bituruka ku Uwiteka no kushimikiriye muri cyane amasezerano y'Imana. I enjoy the presence of God. Nishimira mukoho kw'Imana. If the good things from people means Kurya rero ibivuye mu bantu ndabishimira I still want to be nice at them. Abantu banya nange ngomba kubabera umuntu mwiza si ngomba kubitura inazi. But I don't want to take the garbage. Ariko se shaka kurya umuntu. Any question about sometimes some difficult situation. Yego mumbaze ariko kubijyanye n'ibyo twigishe n'umunsi n'ikindi kibazo cyo irya. Yes. Ese birashoboka ko umutima abantu bose bawubona bawubona bakawugendera ibiruhije nawe yavuze ko biruhije ariko ndeka gusubize ese is it possible that every person can have the same heart and walk by that prince okay let me tell you ndeka ngugire most people won't follow this principle abantu benshi barabishobora bashobora kugenda kuri iryo hame they have to be taught and they have to have right relationship with God before they can follow them bashobora rwose kumvira imana bakubaha imana bakagendera kuri umurongo kugeza babitunganiye ngo don't expect them to be able to do that ero munsi bgire ko babikora kwimbaraga zabo because people you know they have to be trained Let me tell you, even pastors will get angry and say angry words from time to time. So we have to learn to handle it ourselves. Now I'm not saying pastors you know, are bad. Actually pastors are good. But sometimes when they're busy, sometimes they can you know, be angry too. But we want to understand them, appreciate them, and thank you, thank them, even if they say something. You know, sometimes they get angry a little bit. Okay. So we don't expect people to be like that. Bero ntabwo tutekanya ko abantu bose bamera nabi baba banyamujinya baba bantu bakuri ibintu byangwa n'Imana. People has to be highly trained and they have the good relationship with God before they can do that. Bere yuko umuntu abana nabandi neza agomba kubana n'Imana neza cyane. Okay, any question? Any other question? Ari cyo kibazo ariko kijyanye n'indi gihe mu gihe hirya ya. Okay, two persons you can both ask first and then I'll answer together. No no haramanza bazumwe nundi akurikireho babiri none ngone gusubirizaho bimwe ese uyu nyigisho ah nkumushumba ashobora kuba yarayoboye igihe kirekire abantu bagakizwa ari benshi ndetse bamukunda cyane n'Imana mukunda ariko nyuma akaza kugwa ku buryo burenze ukwemera cyaje kamufata kabisa icyo gihe biba bigenze bite cyangwa se hakorwa iki He said, a good pastor, a pastor, there might be a pastor. Say it again. There might be a pastor, a good pastor, loved by this, the flock. He lives well and it takes many years. And then at eventually, a pastor backs right. And then he falls, he does wrong. How can we handle a situation like that? Understand situation like that? Handle it. Handle it, yes. Okay. Nakoze ikibazo cyanjye nabazaga birashoboka wenda ko umuntu ashobora kukubabaza ariko muri uko kukubabaza akabatazikwena kubabaza 
ariko wenda ukabutara bigeze mu ruhara birashoboka ko nshobora gutera intambwe nkajya kumusaba imbabazi kandi ari nawe wa wa mwiki icyo ni cyambe cyakabiri nabazaga nabazaga ngi ni gute birashoboka kwa buri pasta abantu bagiranye amakimbirane cyangwa se baba bazanye baba bazanyishe reka mbivuge ngo ni gute wabasha kubasanga kugira ngo babashe kongera kwiyunga hagati yabo kandi hagati yabo bataramenya kubabarira umumaro wabo murakoze imana no her question is number one, there are two people one hurts another one hates another hurts hurts yes okay brings hurts in his hurts. heart okay and it's not intentional he okay. doesn't do it intentionally okay. and he doesn't know that he has hurted someone okay accidentally yes it happens accidentally and then another knows that he's having his hunger of uh, of the the one who hurted her and then the one who did big horrible things doesn't know he did it because it happened accidentally then is it possible if i realize that for me to take that place and go to him or her and say please i'm sorry forgive me i've been angry i've been uh, i've been hungry i'm affected by you so i'm so sorry is it possible to do that that you mean the person being hurt yes. go to the person who hurt him to apologize right the one the victim or innocent victim. person is uh -huh. going to to apologize okay okay now and then another point okay. again uh, uh, is let, let me let me answer one by one now now you remember the question she, okay. she has another question yeah no remember okay. okay okay because if not people watching will be hearing many questions okay yes. the first question is if the pastor backslided let me tell you just now the teaching is just about how not to be affected by people that you know all people have sinned so they hurt me it's in a way it's normal because people do sin so we don't have to eat the garbage but this person continues to have garbage what can we do? For each situation, there are different solutions. For this pastor, whether the pastor is humble enough to, you know, that he's open to help or not. Now, if he's open to help, we should not just go to him and say, ah, how can you be like this? You have been a pastor, and then now you backslider. How can it happen? Now, when we accuse, remember we talk about words of the law, if we accuse, immediately he will get angry. But what I want to say is to help the person handle the problem, we have to ask for wisdom from God and we have to be gentle and not accusing. The first is to care about the person and pray for wisdom. And then try to be friend with the person. To have 
time with this person to build build up relationship. Acceptance is very important. If this is a Christian or pastor who has, who has backslided, and then we don't like him, the way we look at him will show our dislike inside. The way we talk will show the dislike in our heart. So if we dislike him when we talk to him, we might say, ah, oh, you're no good, oh, you're, you're nothing. Hello. So we must have the love of God that we have the love of God and the patience of God to be kind to him. Let you see how Jesus was so kind to Peter when he was about to Deny him three times. And then we can ask this pastor how he is. When he talks about his problem, we should not just first start to teach. And say you rely on God, God will provide for you and you can be a pastor again. The moment we teach, he will, he will turn off. We can say something like this to empathize that I feel his feelings. We can say, I know it's difficult in your situation. And then, you know, and, and, and basically to let him know that, yes, in your situation, you could have the worry, you have you know, that you say, I don't have the motivation to be a pastor anymore. So the patience and the kindness, kindness first. And then we can find out from him, do you still want to be a pastor? What are some difficulties? And, and based on what, how he answered, we gradually guide him. So the whole, most important thing is not to be angry with him and not to be accusing, but accept him how he is. Let me ask you, when we have sin, when you have sinned, when the Holy Spirit comes to your heart, does he do this? You are no good, how can you do that? You are so bad. Does the Holy Spirit do that? The Holy Spirit is very gentle. He comforts us first. And He gives us His peace. And then He reminds us of, his, of our sins. And guides us to repent. Have you noticed the Holy Spirit is very gentle? Okay, now uh, about your question. If someone has hurt me, can I apologize? Uh -huh. I'm 
I would say if we have one percent wrong, we can still apologize. Because there's victory. Even though he has many things wrong, I have one little thing wrong. I don't have to ask him about the many things he's wrong. Because I treasure my life and I treasure the relationship with him. That I am willing to apologize for a little thing. Maybe we say, oh, I'm sorry that uh, when I talked to you, I, I was, you know, I had some emotions. I'm sorry about that. Because when someone does something bad, sometimes we have emotions that shows on our face. Even if we have nothing wrong, we can still be gentle to him. That is victory. Okay, and what is <coughs> Another question is, there are two people, for example, like a couple, like a couple, two people having conflicts. So if they have conflicts and this conflict has gone high, and these people are inseparable, inseparable. They are still fighting and bringing them together. I mean, bringing them, them together is not easy. How can you handle such a kind of situation? Okay. Now, this is helping someone to reconcile. This is, this take the skill of counseling. It's a big thing to learn. <laughs> I just want to say it very briefly. When two persons fight against each other, and one of you tell you, the other person has wronged me, for instance, most of the time it's uh, women who come to us for help because generally men don't come for help. That woman comes, my husband's not good, he yells at me and he did all this. And then I ask her, is it possible that you bring your husband together and I'll talk to you both? Sometimes the husband is not willing, sometimes he's willing. When I listen to them, I don't judge any one of them. Now the wife might say, my husband doesn't talk to me, he doesn't care about me. I'm going to say to her, that must make you feel unhappy. But I don't attack the husband. And then I ask the husband, how is the relationship? Very often the husband will tell me, my wife nags at me all the time. <laughs> They each have their story. And I won't attack the wife. No, no. I won't attack the wife. I just say, I know it's difficult for you. So I accept both persons, it's difficult for you. No, no. And I ask them, do you want to build up the marriage? 
If there is a way, do you want to build up the marriage again? If they are willing, then I can start to guide them how to communicate. Remember two days ago I talked about the words of grace and the words of the law. If you remember the words of the law, how to talk to people. People learn how to talk to people gently, there won't be fights. So that's a big problem. I mean, a big thing to learn. Which I'm not going to go into now. Okay. Now, um, we should have a break, and then because I was still want to talk about how to handle negative thinking and negative feelings and things that affect us, and is very important too. And then in the afternoon after that, I want to talk about how to. Bible study and preach. That's another big thing, very important. But I, you know, I will teach each one so that if you really pay attention, you can learn it. Okay.